The latest trend in financial investment is cryptocurrency, but scam artists are also urging it to steal your money. Yeah, and they're using social media to make this happen. We spoke to two people who got conned out of more than $20,000. They're sharing their story as a warning to everyone else. Floating on social media, Metro Detroit native Nicole Vowell saw a familiar face. So when he hit her up on a DM, she wrote back. I've known Darius about 10 years. I know he's a family man, a man of God. And he posted uh, something on his story that said, if you can name uh, a name that starts with an A, I'll give you a cash prize. And I'm usually pretty skeptical of that, but I knew Darius, so I was like, Whatever, need a little extra cash for my mom for holidays. What can hurt? Unfortunately, a lot could hurt and hurt in the pocketbook. Here's how Vowel got hit. The man she thought was Darius on her Instagram story wasn't him. Someone hacked his account and was orchestrating a scam. She was told it was a Bitcoin mining strategy. They wanted to initially invest $800 and then I would get like $5,000 back. And I was like, OK, I got 800 bucks. That's cool. She moved forward and paid. She knew Bitcoin mining is a quick way some people make cash. After the $800 investment, the stakes got higher. Well, now we need $4,600 if you want to get $10,000. And I'm like, unfortunately, I had that money laying around. So I, I put all of my savings into trying to get a $10,000 payout. Then it was like, well, if you pay us $7,500 extra, then we'll give you a $40,000 payout. In my head, I'm thinking, wow, I can pay my mom back. Meantime, who she thought was Darius told her she could trust him. She borrowed thousands from her friends and sent it through Bitcoin ATM and Cash App. Finally, she made contact with him using a phone. She and a friend called to say they were on their way to give him the cash he picked up. He's like, my Instagram got hacked like in the summer. That's not me. I've been getting messages left and right about people uh, that think it's me that are, they're scamming them. My heart, my heart sank, like completely sank. <laughs> Tears turned into anger and frustration. She gave up $13,000. Some of the money was borrowed. She's speaking out, hoping others will be aware of this scam. As for Darius, well, he says the exact same thing happened to him on Facebook. What he thought was a friend says he was running a charitable effort he would have to just play one game to get it going. I bet you you can't find a girl's name that start with A and ends with A. If you can't prove me wrong, it might be a cash prize. He was told his cash app would be credited $9,000, but he needed to make a Bitcoin contribution in order to get the ball rolling. In all, he lost more than $10,000. They took his cash and his identity. He gave up a picture of his ID. Then Darius's social media accounts were hacked and then used to hit up Nicole. Just be careful of like, you know, who, who you're talking to on social media. Like if they ask for any kind of identification, nine times out of 10, it's not your friend. I thought I was talking to my friend on Instagram who I knew and trusted. If I can get had, anybody can get had. Louisa Nicole says that she's a former TV reporter who actually did investigative stories about scams for years. She didn't think she would be caught in one. So what can you do? Well, many of us are using our social media direct messages as a primary form of communication. We literally have entire conversations with friends on DMs. You know what? If you're actually talking to a real friend, go old school and give them a call and do that sooner than later.